Hi guys, welcome back to my channel The Inked Reader. Today I have finally the January unboxing for Fairy Loot. So I finally received both boxes and I can open them. Now the adult book box always or almost always comes first. So I had to check that it wasn't damaged because it looked a bit like these on the back. I don't know if you can tell. I had a tiny tiny sneak peek. So yeah, I shouted <laughs> and then decided to just you know, put it back and keep it for the unboxing and this just arrived yesterday but I was working, didn't have time to even look at it so I just put it on the floor and waited for today for filming so yeah, let's start with the then adult one for once and for once I don't have to insert clips because they're all both here <laughs> so the adult book box is just no items as always and this is what it looked like sans paper because there was paper, there was paper inside that's at the bottom now but this is why I screamed, and this is what it's in. Um, that's the only thing I saw, and just already screamed. And I was just like, I need to show people, and then I need to just open it on camera. Can we. Maybe it's upside down. Can we. appreciate this? Okay, so let's open it up because unfortunately, guys, I'm, my, um, I'm a bit off on the rush today. I need to leave. So, Sinister Secrets is the theme. And the book is uh, The Last Day of Flower of the Flower Bride. Uh, she wrote another series that's very popular that I've not read. And these are the pages, guys. I'm going to get out of camera so you can again appreciate this. And I'm going to show you the book while I tell you about it because actually I've heard about this book. So this is the sign plate and this is what it looks like from inside. So there's nothing on here. This is what it looks like closed. And this is actually an adult fantasy book and it's about this man that marries this woman. She's beautiful and she comes from like a kind of prestigious family. But when they marry, she tells him not to ask her any personal questions about her family. And so he agrees, they're okay for a while and then one of her uncles, I believe, got sick, gets sick. And so she has to go back to a family house which is full of secrets and a lot of mysteries and a lot of past history of this family will be unraveled while the couple stays at the family home and you know I guess he's gonna find out who indeed his wife is. Sounds very gothic and intriguing. I have high hopes for this one. It looks stunning on my bookshelves. This is how it's gonna get displayed and the author is quite famous so I do have high hopes because her other series was very popular. And then we've got the YA book box is not open. Sorry guys, I have to go. I just realized it's later than I thought. Um, so let me do this quickly. So okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Got paper. Oh, I can see shiny things. Okay, so first thing it's in here, it's actually, um, what do you call it? It's what you put on your eyes to sleep. I can't stand anything on my face while I sleep. So this is unfortunately not very useful for me, but whether I can donate it or can give this to somebody else. There is a pin inside which we're going to open in a second. Oh, this is so cute. This I use actually a lot. This is like a hairband. I'm going to show you in a second. Close. Is that hairband? Sorry, bookshelf. Oh, collection of magical tomes, volume one. I'm gonna open this in a second. I'm intrigued. And then we have the book. Oh, and some of amazing art on the bottom. So first of all, we have the, I'm not gonna <laughs> look at it, but this is the spoiler card. Not looking, not looking, not looking. I promise I'm not looking, I'm not looking. <laughs> and then we got the tarot cards of the month, which are beautiful as always. I love, I love this pink and blue. Um, color palette more or less love it the devil the world I guess these are from once a broken heart I think this is Jack and this is our main protagonist which I can never remember her name but I remember she has pink hair and then there is this this has got lions on top so I guess it's from Ray Bearer maybe I'm just speculating but this is what it looks like I like lions can you see them let's open up the pin Sorry guys, usually I take way more time to show you all the items, but today I just, again, it came out of sudden that I need to leave. 
a pin. Maybe this is from Ray Bear. I don't know, it looks lovely though. Look at this. This is unique. We have this one. Now I don't really use them and I'm not sure what this is from. It's very nice and shiny and it's very padded. So this is very positive, but I don't know um, what kind of fandom that is. It's neutral. And this collection of magical tomes, volume one, I have no idea what this is. I guess it's a hollow book, so it's like things you can put inside. Oh, look at this. It looks amazing. It looks stunning. It looks indeed stunning. A beginner's guide to portal magic and inside you just open it up and you can store things inside. I might store my scrunchies. It's very useful for these things. So yeah, let's open up the book and then I'm gonna see what this is, what kind of fandom this is from, but I love it. It looks like a book I could even potentially put on my bookshelves, which I have changed slightly. <laughs> you might have noticed. Um, I'll do a kind of tour when I do my unhaul. Well, but guys, sorry, we need to speed up a bit today. As I keep saying, I'm getting annoying. I'm annoying myself, so I shut up. So Hidden Words is the theme. And next month's theme would be Morally Grey. And then we've got the letter of the author with a guess our protagonist. And then we've got the book pages. Oh, it's a stunning. Um, what color is this? How do you call this in English? I'm very curious to know how you call it. And the book is bookmark <laughs> Spice Road, Maya Ibrahim. Now, Spice Road reminds me of a um, Silk Road, which actually is a true road. Oh, oh, oh! Can we? Can we gonna get out of camera so you can just enjoy this amazing okay so it's only here but i love it i love it so much look at this this has to be displayed on my shelves and then we've got the inside let me check okay i think we have like an alternative cover potentially but look how stunning this is without first of all like how stunning this is without Oh, very good. As always, you deliver. It's amazing. It looks stunning. Inside, I think we have an alternative cover, which, I mean, look at this guy. We don't mind. With a quote, I believe. It says, Why the control the spice control the kingdom itself? So it's an alternative cover, which is tempting, although I love, you know, these kind of doors, entrances. And then we got the end papers, which are again are stunning. This is a YA new release. Perfect, looks stunning, guys. And very briefly, all I know about this is about this a world where spice give you power. And I don't know if you have specific powers when you consume specific spices or. Each spice comes with a new power, but basically for our main protagonist, that her brother is outlawed because he did something wrong. And now she has to kind of go on an expedition with other people to find him. I don't know if it's to capture him and bring him to justice or in her mind she wants to just go along with this um, expedition to actually save him. But she's a bit torn about, you know, the law and what her brother did, but at the same time the love that she has for her brother. And I think she has a specific iron magic. Uh, so I don't know anything about these. It does sound a bit like another premise of another book, The, um, the Stardust Thief, but I guess it's going to be very different then once I open it up. So, stunning book. This doesn't have associated any uh, book or series, so it's a neutral item. Oh, this is inspired by the scrunchies, inspired by We Hunt the Flame, which I've not read, but I love scrunchies. So, the pin is actually uh, The Stardust Thief which is the other book that reminded me of that. And this is inspired by the book of the month, so, you know, um, Spice Road. And yes, the cards are Evangeline and Jack. Guys, I need to run, but I'm especially excited about the adult book. I don't know anything about the other book, the YA, so I'll check it out. Just this item for me is a bit mad because I don't use it, but all the rest is good. It's amazing. It's a good start of the year. Let me know what item you preferred on this haul and if you've heard about these books. Take care of yourself. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time. Ciao!